what is up guys welcome back to another video i just got back from las vegas it was such an amazing time up there sema did me very very well especially going there for the first time me and my wife enjoyed every single build it's just so insane it's such a different different feeling compared to here in big island where there isn't that much crazy build like that though but it's awesome to kind of see everything that we could really imagine of and a very very good time up there we had a great wedding anniversary so that me and her needed a little getaway you know leave the boys behind home you know we kind of needed it oh man that's it's so crazy how all those bills are just imagine how much money they put into those and just made it just so sick so unique i just it's hard to really really explain like everything like everything they have up there in the mainland all the connections you know companies supports sponsorships all that stuff it must be really really nice though and i just hope that one day here in the big island we probably maybe hopefully we can get something like that maybe not as close but somewhere we can you know start from but as you can see there you know i did kind of jumped a little early on working on jalen's evil i just decided to just remove the rear bumper because one i noticed that the license plate don't come on I took the rear bumper and noticed that there wasn't any harness so i kind of figured i just drove down to what auto shop grab some wires grab some terminals i couldn't find any aftermarket plug that would plug into the socket bulb to the harness so i decided to just do something like this so i got some terminals here with some hang shoe tube i just went to go ahead and put those on so that way just to be in in the safe part that these terminals won't touch each other for whatever reason right there here is one bulb and here is the other bulbs if anybody out there are wondering how I got or which wire that kind of plugs into what I kind of actually guessed so if you look here on this this plug here on the harness so I got the power on the left and ground on the right and then you kind of already know by the wire colors I wanted to stay it like knowing that it's gonna be simple to look at so power on the right and ground on the left and then you can look at the tabs that way it's a lot easier to kind of see how I run it here are the lights are on sick when I removed the rear bumper there was no socket bulb that was on the license plate so I noticed that the side light on the OEM bumper comes with it and of course the one whole harness plugs to all the socket bulbs so I decided to just take the one off from the side and gonna put it on the license plate these socket bulbs do fit perfectly in here and my evo 8 doesn't even have the side light bulb that is on or maybe the bulb is just missing on mine but i don't really care for it so that's what we're gonna be doing at least now that we have everything working here i'm gonna go ahead and make this nice and clean so i'm gonna go ahead and just shrink tube the wires i don't have my solder or anything like that so we're just gonna get those wires wrapped around with each other shrink tube it at least make it look all nice and neat and then we can go ahead and put everything back on. I am going to be throwing some LED bulbs. So I want to go ahead and just take those um, bulbs out. But after that, we can put everything back on the car. So this is how the harness turned out this is how we're gonna make it and it's gonna work and i know it's not gonna be an issue got everything on there got the shrink tube got electric tape i know it's not the best 
professional looking harness but this is what is going to really work and we're going to go ahead and throw this on the car let's go ahead and get that plugged into the harness right there and also the bulb socket make sure the light turns on and then we can go ahead and throw the rear bumper back on So we got that all situated and before I want to go ahead and put the rear bumper back on I did totally forget that I did double side tape the license plate on this bumper because there wasn't a bracket that the screws will hold on to it I mean there is right here but I don't think it reached so I got some clips I want to go ahead and try put it on top of the bumper we need to get this license plate off remove the double side tape that's on there it's been on there for like maybe a month now and it's super super on there so i do have ipa which is a 70 percent alcohol i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on top on the double side tape let it soften and then we can go ahead and get it removed put the new clip on i do i do have bolts and then hopefully everything turns out there so let's go ahead and put this bring this bumper on the shade because it's freaking freaking hot and get this thing out of the way The rear bumper is all back on the car. I get the inner wheel that is attached to the bumper all nice and secured. Before it was just floppy and loose. So both sides is now secured and now it's not flopping so it's good. The license plate is on good. Here are the parts that I got from Napa. Here is the clips. It's an M61 by 0 and it's a part number 665 -2372. And here is the bolt side, which is an M61 by 0 by 25 mil, 665-1149. So these are the parts that I use to hold into the license plate on the rear bumper. So if you want to pick one of these, I'll have it down link on the description box below. I know it's not the exciting thing of the world that we did today on the car, but it had to be done because driving at night, we had no license plate bulbs and it was just kind of sketchy just driving without it, especially when the safety check is legal, the car is legal. I didn't want to risk anything. I just wanted to get it all squared away. You know, little things makes a huge difference on this car especially when there's a lot of things that is missing and wrong with the car i just want to get that all like squared away you know to get everything taken care of and then we can move on to the next one i need to go ahead and get ready for work so when i get home from work we can go ahead and look at the car turn on the sidelight and see how bright it is with the led lights so i just got home from work guys let's go ahead and check out the license plate lights and see how they look Wow, thing is so bright. 
That looks so, so sick. Nice. I freaking love it. And it works, guys. It really, really works. So it looks right here. Turns out really good. I'm sick. I'm stoked about that, guys. Damn. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video though, but I went down to town and trying to go through every auto store and they didn't have any like universal plug to plug into the socket bulbs or to the main harness. So I did what I did, just put some terminals and slide it into the pins. It works. I know it's not the proper way to make it the way how it is though but i think it just works anyways so so i just kind of went with that you know just got to do what you got to do if it works it works so i'm happy about that we might have some issues down the road eventually if something goes wrong or if the wires pulls off from the pin for whatever reason though but main thing that's out of the way and i'm very very happy i did have to remove the rear bumper off just because i noticed that the brackets was kind of a little bit in and i believe that the car had a rear JDM bumper because I know the rear bumpers are a lot shorter than the OEM bumper so I think that's the reason why they had the bracket pushed in the plastic thread goes where I guess holes behind the license plate and the rear bumper I think it's in place but I think I'm just gonna leave the clip on and just kind of just don't touch anything I hope it kind of helps for anybody out there might not like I said it might not be the proper way but it's just the way how I needed to do it and I couldn't find any harness so therefore it is what it is though but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hello and I'll see you guys in the next one